your life. All right. It is May the 5th, 8.45 p.m. Get ready to take some Geiger readings of the rain shower we had come through here a few minutes ago. Actually, it's been roughly a little bit over an hour. We've driven about four miles, went out to eat. And so, background reading is a little higher in here than normal. Let's see if we can find out why from the truck here. So, we've got two sheets of paper towels. And wipe up the dirt here. The truck's not super dirty. Relatively damp. Well, let's see what kind of reading we get here. It's a little higher than I would expect, or a little more activity, I should say. It's a 30 second moving average updated every three seconds. Uh, calm down a little bit. We're already at eight times, nine times background. That's what we've been getting the last couple of storms, is roughly around nine times background. Ten times. All right, let's see if we can find if there's any little hotter spots on here. This little symbol here and denotes the uh, the center of the sensor on the other side. That's a pretty steady hot rating. And what I'm going to do here is uh, hold on this. I'm going to go take a, a sample from our other vehicle, which was not driven, but was out in the rain. So we'll see if uh, the driving made any difference. <coughs> so what I'm doing is I'm taking a sample off the hood of the vehicle that was just parked in our driveway did not get driven anywhere. This is a plates. Yeah, not much I've got on plate. So this is a sample I took off our other vehicle that had been parked. So let's see what the Some definite activity going on there. Not quite. This is roughly five times background at that spot. It keeps going. Well, 
I'll see if I can find a hotter spot in there. Let me get the hottest spot. There seems to be a little bit of influence driving versus not driving, but not a whole lot. Let's fold this guy up a little bit more. Try to get him just a little bit more wet, a little more dirt off the back of the other truck. Now, one difference between the two is that the uh, the truck we drove was a little bit drier. Obviously, it's been air dried because it wasn't raining constantly. Okay, this appears to be short half-life radiation because it's already losing some of its vigor. There we go. So, so far I would say the the vehicle that was driven was roughly 25% hotter. And 0.1 milliram hours max versus 0.75 max. Well, let's go back to the original sheet. This is the one off the vehicle that was driven through the through the fallout. And let's see what it reads at now. Let's see if it's decreased any since the uh, initial reading. And since this, the half-life of this radiation seems to be short, this is a, a good test to go back to it. And this is still hotter. So this is roughly 9 to 10 times background radiation. And this other one over here is roughly 7. So we'll call this 7 to 10x. Some of the variability just could have been from uh, one part of the storm, or shower I should say, from one part of the shower to another part of the shower. So they're relatively close. It'll take a few more experiments to, to pin it down exactly. <laughs>